there is always a sound to the city and live music always drifts above London. So we thought we'd bring the buskers off the streets into the studios. And today, my busker is John Clapper. Morning. Good morning. Thank you for being here. You have all of the gear. You look very professional. Yeah, hopefully some of the idea. Yes, uh, hopefully lots of idea, actually. And you've got all of your gear set up. You've got your amp, you've got everything. Do you carry it all around with you when you go out? Yeah, it is the bane of my life. Unfortunately. Is it? It's the worst part of busking is carrying all the equipment. Oh, no, but it, I mean, it looks amazing. But yes, at least you don't play the harp. Yes, that's true. All the drums or something like yeah, that. Yeah, that would be it? terrible, yeah. wouldn't it? At least you've got a guitar strung around you and you're good to go. And you could technically go with just a guitar. Um, yeah, I suppose that we could do, but I like to think my act is, uh, well, in some way unique in the sense that it's a looping act with some unique elements. Hopefully okay. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Fingers crossed. You never know what might happen with live music. That's the joy of it. Um, okay. So before we chat anymore, you've got some strange reverb on your voice, which I'm going to talk to the team about. So when I'm talking to you now, it sounds like you're in a vast hall, which yeah. I'm assuming that's the team who've put that on. Yeah, but it could be something to do with me it might even get worse when i press this it does that's all, that's all part of the uh, is that all part of it okay be, fine because we're going through my amplifier oh great well i won't shout at the team then just yet i'll fire nobody today um okay john how long have you been doing it for um i think i'd say comfortably about 10 years nice round number um i've lived in london for about that much time and that's when the busking really started and where did you come from um, so you might notice my accent's a little bit northern. So I'm from a place called Rochdale, which is near Manchester. I know Rochdale. Yeah. I have family who live in Rochdale. Oh, right. I know you say that Rochdale near Manchester, like nobody knows where Rochdale <laughs> is, but I'm, I've got it. I've got your card. Don't worry about that. Okay, let's pause the chat for a moment because you're going to you're going to do a cover for us. What cover are you going to do? So one of my favourite bands is Dire Straits, um, and mostly because of the guitar playing in it. So that's why I'm okay. going to do this one for you. Okay, what song are you singing? It's called Sultan's a Swing. Okay, well, listen, John, you are live across the capital city. London is your oyster. Take it away, my friend.
I'm trying to clap with my hands fully. A tremendous work. I think you did Dire Straits proud there. Thank you very much. Uh, very busy with the fingers on the guitar I know, there. Yeah. It's that's a lot. And I often think and this is a real naive question that someone who doesn't play music would ask. Does it ever hurt your fingers? Oh, yeah, can you play absolutely. till your fingers bleed? Yeah, I have actually. Yeah, just like the Brian Adams song yeah. says. Yeah, I am. Um, I can honestly say, especially busking in the winter, oh god, when your fingers are really, really cold. I had. Uh, I have experienced once. I bust so hard through the winter because I just feel like you have to earn it sometimes. And yeah. uh, I really put the hours in. Um, this was sort of when we were coming out of lockdown. Okay, it was so cold that winter, and uh, I ended up with chill blains on my fingers. You know <gasps> no. what that is? Really yeah. Painful. Very yeah, painful. So I learned a valuable lesson. Sometimes you need to just go home and get warm. Just yeah. ease up. You need hand warmers for your pockets. Do you yes. have them now? Oh, I have everything. For in between? Just, yeah. yeah um, what are the tricks to keep them warm? Because you can't wear gloves, can you? Fingerless gloves kind of work. Yeah, but you know what? Can I just say a moment for fingerless gloves, okay? <laughs> Let me just... And I've worn fingerless gloves extensively. I used to work in the market stores with my dad as a kid. Okay? Fingerless gloves, so you can get the plastic bags open... They don't work, okay? Your fingers are still the, the coldest part of your hands are your fingertips. Yeah, you no one sits there going, I really time. wish my palm was hotter. No one says that. It's your fingertips that are so cold. I think they're useless. But anyway, okay. If it works for you. Fingerless gloves, what else? Um, well, obviously layers. Lots yes. and lots of layers. But your extremities are still cold. Yeah, that, I mean, there's not really... There's no getting around it. Right. What, what happens is after a while, your fingers just become completely numb. <laughs> so it's very hard to play because you have no idea what you're doing with them. Whether it's even <laughs> happening, like, I'll just hit the guitar and see, see what goes... Yes, but that is dedication. And we like our buskers to be dedicated. Like I say, I feel like I've got to earn it. I'm yes. playing for the generosity of the public when I'm busking. So Absolutely. I want to see that I'm trying my best you, here, they, you know? We want to know that you are shivering. <laughs> That's what we want to know when we're going... Uh, shivering or sweating, one or the other, whilst I am also doing the same. Um, does it change though winter to summer in terms of what you can get busking are people more generous in the summer because it's hotter or do they see you in the winter and think poor sod i'll give them a bit more because it's so cold yeah that's that's actually a really good question i honestly i um, a lot of my friends here are buskers because that's sort of where i've sort of gotten to know everyone because that's my job i suppose right um and it's like a constant discussion amongst us it's like the psychology of the public when we're busking yeah so what do they want to hear from us and um, we find that like, what tends to happen is we're constantly analyzing the psychology of the public. Why do they give us money on certain days? All that sort of stuff. And I think sometimes you, you've got to put that to rest because otherwise yeah. you're just overthinking it. Right. And, and we've got to try not to think too much about the money, even though it is a big reason. You've got to earn there. a living though as well. Yeah, exactly. I mean, there's no shade with that. Yeah. You're not here just to do it for free. I mean, yes, great. If you had enough money, you would, but yeah the bills need to be paid yeah. and you can't I, strum for the rent man i would say the summer does seem to be the better period right because there's just more people out in a good yeah. mood and i think mood helps a lot right like i i played before the england match the other day okay how was that where did you play uh, at borough market lovely and um, so it's a very busy part of like sort of fairly central london yeah and um i i wasn't one of my better days it was really busy but sometimes i think it being so busy you sort of, especially in London, you can sort of just fall into the mess of sounds that are right. all going on. Yes. It's a bit harder to break through. But also, not to question your busking methods or strategy whatsoever, is it the right demographic at Borough Market for an England match? Uh, well, that's... There's something to be said about that. That could have just been a busy day at Borough Market, exactly. as is because they're the foodies. Are the foodies, is there a Venn diagram in which the foodies cross over to those who have gone to, let's say, Box Park to watch the game specifically? Yeah, that's true. I, I wasn't there specifically because of the football. It was right. just, it was just um, it's my, a regular place that I play at. Um, and obviously Central London was busy and full of people in, in England shirts. But you make a really good point. Yeah, just Borough Market to think is out. such a international right. community. They there. might not care. Most people they might have been supporting Spain. Fans. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I did play Three Lions and it did fall pretty flat. I was you like, see? okay. See? Not the right yeah. crowd for yeah. it. They, they were probably cheering on Spain. If you'd done the Spanish national anthem, you might have got <laughs> somewhere. You might have got somewhere, John. Listen, th th here's both of us overthinking it now <laughs> on the radio. Uh, but maybe next time, maybe there's a game on, go to Wembley. See what happens. Oh, I, I've got a little story about that. Tell me. I, I actually performed just uh, pre-match and post-match. Now, this was a busking set, but it was sort of an organized bus. They mm -hmm. sort of invited me to come and play. And this was the women's final for the Euros. Amazing, which and of course the women won. Exactly. And if you go on my Instagram or any of my socials, you'll see, it's like my favorite video ever, is um, me performing on the Wembley Way. So yes. all the people coming out of the match, 
the mood was definitely good that day. Yes. And all these people were just sw- swarming and uh, they had to sort of control the crowds. So they had me playing while people waited sort of 20 minutes Great. for the tubes. And yeah, then, yeah, yeah. So I was playing these 20 minute sets, obviously, Free Lion, Sweet Caroline, yes. you know, that kind of thing. These huge the classics. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it, was the, it was the highlight, I think, of was my it? musical career so far. Did it translate monetary? Uh, well, like I say, it was sort of an organised busk. And what they'd done is they put me up on like a balcony. Right. Not the a bit best harder. for accepting no, tips. You can't. I did manage to get some made their way to me, which was nice. But it right, wasn't but you can't so put your cap about. down in the same way. Yeah. No. OK. Well, now that we've overanalyzed the psychology of busking, which can I just say personally, I've immensely enjoyed. <laughs> you're going to play one of your own tracks for us, John. That's right, yeah. What are you going to play? So this is my first single I ever released. Um, it's called Reignite. Um, and it's about... It's about when you break up from a relationship, but the temptation to go back is so strong. Yeah. Um, and uh, in this case, for me, I wrote it when I was living with an ex. You know, we'd broken up, but we still had to live together Awkward. for a while. So Terrible it's about that situation, I suppose. Yeah. No, oh, I can't wait to hear it. I love a story behind a song. Well, it's 9.44 and you're live across the capital city through all 32 boroughs. So John, whenever you're ready, sir, take it away. Thank you very much. <laughs> Every time I look at you, it feels alright. Maybe we just care for you tonight. Yeah, my heart breaks when you stop and go. Yeah, this time is forever, baby, let me know. Cause every time you touch, you know it feels alright. Maybe we just care for you tonight. Mm. Whatever you say, it's on my mind all the time. I try to read the signs, redefine, I'm hypnotized. I know it's lies, but my brain can decide. If we do this again, then my heart will survive. Thank you. Remembering the lyrics to my own songs is a bit of a problem. Is it? Me, <laughs> I wish I could sing along and help you out, but alas, you wouldn't want that, I assure you. It's so extraordinary, John, to watch you work because with the loop pedal, I find it fascinating. Your feet are going, you're doing so many different things, and it's remarkable to watch. I'm just, it's such a shame our listeners uh, can't see it, but they can hear it, and the music is glorious. John, where can people find you? 
Um, so, uh, my music is on Spotify. Um, it's John Clapper, is my actual name. Never managed to think up a good artist name. Could have come up with something like, you know, Banana Hammock or something like that. No, no, know. it sticks. <laughs> banana Rama was taken. You couldn't do exactly. any bananas anyway. Yeah. They're out. Um, so, there's Spotify, and then there's also, um, I use my social media account on Instagram most. Okay, perfect. So, that's John Clapper again, but with an underscore in the middle, because, you know, Lord knows there has to be another John of Clapper. Of course, there out. does. Trust me, I couldn't even have Salma El Wadani for an email address. Don't get me started on that. Um, Clapper, though, good name for a musician. You want everyone to clap for you. Clap for Clapper. Yeah, so kind of. There's puns there to be had. Yeah. Yes, perfect. Where's your favourite place to busk? Um, I actually do really like Borough Market. Do you? It's a lovely place. That's because you get great snacks. (laughs) Yeah. Why wouldn't you? You do occasionally get um, tips in the form of snacks. Do you? Good. That's nice. And I hope the traders give you some free stuff at the end of the day. Yeah, they're definitely really lovely around there. Yeah, it's a good little community. They're nice. I'm going down there just to eat my way through it one day, (laughs) not to do anything useful whatsoever like you do and entertain the public. Uh, John Clapper, what a pleasure having you on. Thank Thank you you. so much for coming in and serenading us and finishing our week so beautifully. Well, thank you for having me. It's been an absolute pleasure. It is 9.49. Thank you. Yeah.